good morning and welcome to all my dears today we are going to discuss about irritable bowel syndrome as you know our gi team may affected by so many structural problems or structural disease but here today we discuss about the functional problem of our gat particularly with the large intestine or the inflammation of or the irritability of our colon near about 40% of bowel issues are mainly because of ibs and is a common gat disorder that mainly affects the large intestine and usually it will be a lifelong issue to our patient and more than that it is one of the most common and very chronic and frustrating problem with a, a spectrum of or a cluster of symptoms and another peculiarity of irritable bowel syndrome is it's a static disorder and it is viewed as very hard to define and very very difficult to diagnose and very difficult to treat also it is mainly characterized by recurrent abdominal pain or discomfort and associated with a disordered defecation historic terminologies may explain the condition as mucus colitis or spastic colitis nervous bowels or functional bowel disorder now it is designated as irritable bowel syndrome let us see about the epidemiology of ibs the victim of ibs are usually young adults and mostly middle aged personnel these are near about comes near about 15 to 20% of the issue but the same may affects people of all ages and both sexes but it is more common in young people and usually late adolescents or it can even in early adulthood and at the same time near about only 40% seeks medical attention according to the international foundation of functional gastric disorder they states that it is almost two or three times more common in females as compared to males increased the level of stress and adoption of sedentary lifestyle is expected to increases the prevalence and now it is considered as a lifestyle disorder next about what causes irritable bowel syndrome 
that can be studied in next class thank you for watching